All right, hello everyone. So I am going to do another swipe and scoop with the leftover colors, still the leftover colors from when Olga was here. Um, but I'm gonna use a white base and then I have all my rainbow colors here. Not really rainbow, but close enough. Now I've done two of these thus far in kind of rainbow type colors. And in the first one, kind of looked like a turkey. The colors were a little bit more subdued. I didn't use enough. In the second one, my purple was a little too dark um, and it kind of took over a, you know, a part of the painting. So this time I'm just gonna kind of go crazy with the swipes across the canvas. And I don't know, just see how this one goes. The colors are a little bit brighter, so I'm thinking that it's gonna work out well. I am swiping with black across the white. And then I haven't decided if I wanna swipe with white or black across the colors. I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna get, oh, and I'm using, probably gonna start with these two to swipe. And then I'm gonna use, uh, this is actually from Loli Buffy. It's a, um, to like scrape off the silicone mats but I actually use it to scrape up the paste. So, okay, let me get going here. This is my first painting of the day. I normally do like three or four paintings on the weekend. And this, and I didn't use enough white last time too. And it took me a while to get going. And of course I decided that like the most intricate painting was gonna be my first painting. <laughs> All right. I mixed up a whole bunch of paints behind me to keep painting today. I have some ideas in my head. My ideas normally come to me, believe it or not, like late at night or super early in the morning. So I just jot them down either in my phone or if I'm by my notepad. Okay, all right. So just stretch that out just a little bit. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna get going and I don't think I'm gonna layer these in any particular order and I think I'm gonna do a couple of different groups of them. So I'm gonna start here. Oh, I didn't swipe my black. The biggest part of what I wanted to do here. So I'm just gonna pour some. This is, so my paints are mixed, pouring me, I just jumped right into this, like everybody knows who I am. Um, so my paints are mixed with mostly creative inspirations as far as the bases go, with uh, about 70% Floetrol, 30% gloss medium varnish, and so are the colors, it's pouring medium for the colors. And then this is one part, um, Amsterdam oxide black and about three to four parts of Australian Floetrol. So I'm just going to swipe right across there. Oh, just the black and white by itself is really, really pretty. And I'm going to do one more swipe and I'm just Getting, trying to get most of it off of the spatula there. You wanna have a good enough layer, but not so much that it's all black. Ooh, I dripped, shouldn't have done that right over. I dripped, but I'm gonna cross down through it anyway. You wanna go nice and slow. There we go. I think maybe just a couple more. This really just gives like an interesting background to it. It's not, you know, these aren't gonna hold up. They're gonna end up almost looking like spider webs. And I have some fun ideas for, I don't know when you'll see this video, but I have some fun ideas for pearl cells or pearl paints by Amsterdam as well. So I've already done a ring pour and you've seen that one, but I have a lot of other ideas. So this is coming into like a gray color here, which is totally fine. 
because these colors are really gonna get mixed up together. That's why I had my little, my drip catcher here, <laughs> trying to get a little bit neater. Okay. I think that's enough because I'm gonna scoop and all of that is gonna change anyway. I don't know if I wanna do black or white. I'm still deciding. It's probably never a good thing when I'm still deciding as I'm painting. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my purple, my magenta. This is a rose mater, it's extremely pretty. My orange. Yellow. Blue. Okay. I think I'm gonna start over here, kind of in the gray. And I'm gonna start with the magenta. Yellow. Orange. I mean, you can choose to do whatever colors you want. That is what is amazing about this. I think I'm gonna do those two next to each other. But there are so many. I feel like every time I paint, I have an idea for another painting. Or if I go on Instagram and see someone else that's doing something really cool, I'm like, hmm, could that work for this technique? Okay, am I missing a color? What am I missing? Two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. Nope, good. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, I think, along this way. And I've started with turquoise. I've started, I think I'm gonna start with purple in this one. Purple. Ooh, the purple next to the orange. Clemson colors, because I'm originally from South Carolina. I might be daring and swipe this with white. I don't know. Oh, I'd already done orange. Turquoise. I see the symmetrical part of me wants to put another one right there, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. So two, four, five, I'm missing this blue. Okay. All right, I got all those out of the way. Do I want to swipe with white? I'm going to swipe one with black and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. I think I'm gonna swipe with white. I think I like, that gave a little bit of interest there, but it kind of grayed out again. I think I'm gonna swipe with white. I already have it mixed up. This makes it so much easier when you're doing multiple paintings in a day to have them pre-mixed. And then I just put them back in my little, uh, TCP cups and they're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna swipe. I like the white swipe much better. much brighter and more colorful. Yes. Okay. And yes, almost four years later, I still get excited. And I'm not apologizing for it. <laughs> okay, 
I'm going to swipe straight down through here. Oh, I'm going the opposite direction that I normally go, and this is actually much harder. Wow, that was so much harder to do that backwards. Okay, so now I've got that out of the way. I'm gonna use my smaller spatula and swipe some of these. I'm gonna swipe them back this direction. These are not gonna matter because they're gonna get stretched out. I mean, they matter. I kinda don't wanna scoop this one. I get to this point, if you've watched my other videos on this, I get to this point every time where I'm like, this would be really cool if I just stretched it out, but I'm gonna scoop it. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Okay. I really love this corner. I may just, okay. I love that too. Whoa, look at that. Okay, maybe I'll just. I did it. I did it. Okay. All right, let's see. You really don't know. Talk about not knowing what's gonna happen. These, you really don't know what's gonna happen, but I kind of like that. Sometimes I'm so focused on getting a specific look that sometimes it's fun to just have chaos and randomness take over. All right, so I'm gonna stretch this out and I do have enough paint this time, which is great. And I'm going to stretch to this corner first, then back over to this corner. This is very, very cool. I need a napkin. I am so, I'm very concerned that this part's gonna go off. We'll see. And then my white, when I swiped over, I might try to stretch this out a little bit this way because there is color underneath right here. And I want to, I don't want it to kind of look muddy. So I might stretch that part out. But let me turn these around for now. Turn one more time. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take the paint back and stretch it down this way first. And then I will stretch this color out as it goes. And then hopefully I won't lose all of that. There we go. Are you kidding me? It's what one of my friend's kids says. <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever. That is super duper cool. All right, I, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not touching it. I'm not fiddling. 
I'll take you in and show you what it looks like wet and then I'll show you what it looks like dry. I'm like very, I, I'm excited about this one. I love this one. The white mixture, which is Creative Inspirations, as I kind of swiped through it, I feel like some of those cells started to pop up that weren't there before. That is likely due to having my paints a little too thin, a little too much water in there. But I actually like it. I do not mind that at all. So I'm going to show you. Love the orange and the purple together. Fades into the Rose Mater. Look at that strip right there. So for me, this has just enough negative space, but also just enough pops of color. But you can let me know what you think and I'll show you what it looks like dry. Okay, I am really liking this piece. So there was a reaction that happened in the center here and it was with the white base I used. I used Creative Inspirations and that is a lot more cell reactive and I think it had a little bit more water in it. It was a little bit thinner than the colors. So I ended up almost getting like a pearl cell reaction in the middle but I'm actually not mad at it at all. So it popped up like through the lacing. So it almost looks 3D, like the lacing is behind it. And then it's only in the center and it's got these bright pops of color on the outside. So I honestly really like it. <laughs> My little swipe and scoop. <laughs> all right, you can let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Yep. Be painting. Bye.